Good afternoon to you. Mark Suddeth, HurricaneTrack.com here with your Hurricane Pro and HD video blog for the 2nd of July, 2014. Taking a look at Arthur here off the coast of Florida, center of circulation right in here. A ragged appearance on satellite as it still battles some dry air. Having a hard time pushing up the deep thunderstorms and keeping them up so that it can organize and lower the air pressure and develop a very consolidated central dense overcast around the core of the storm. Uh, when and if that does happen though, this could really intensify and it wouldn't surprise me if this is stronger in the end than what the Hurricane Center is forecasting and I say that uh, out of complete respect for what they do and they will be the first to tell you that intensity forecasting is where the least amount of skill is in the whole hurricane field, alright? So it's not a slam on them at all, it's the truth. You see Many times a storm forecast to be one intensity and then sometimes it can be a lot stronger or a lot weaker. We look at Hurricane Lily as an example in 2002, a Category 4 approaching the Louisiana coastline and it collapsed over about a 12 to 14 hour period down to just about 80, 85 miles per hour. That's a big difference. Uh, and on the other hand, we've seen two hurricanes in the Pacific this year, the Eastern Pacific, that were not forecast to do much more than maybe become a category one and they both ended up knocking on the door of category five intensity uh, in the eastern pacific so you never can tell that's why i say prepare for a category higher all right so who's going to be preparing well right now you see the watch and warning outline here along the carolinas i believe the low country of south carolina down through georgia to, uh, to jacksonville florida obviously you're going to be okay from this for direct impacts uh, rough seas though the occasional squall may uh, come in and make things a little unpleasant especially the rough seas part and rip currents pay attention to local advisories local uh, warnings from the lifeguards etc the beach patrol and if you don't know you're new to the area or you're vacationing and you're not sure how the beach conditions are ask somebody one of the beach patrol people or lifeguards they will tell you looking at a close-up shot of this for the Outer Banks, this is going to be a close call. This is 75 uh, west by 35 north latitude, and the track goes just on the northwest side of that benchmark. And if you think about it, if the eye were to be about this size right here as it goes by, then the radius of maximum winds could be something like this, could be smaller, could be larger. And yeah, the Outer Banks could get hit by hurricane force winds doing damage from wind, rain, and storm surge. If the track were to come up even closer to the Outer Banks, uh, like this, for example, hard to draw a straight line on here. Uh, you can just imagine, though, if the track were to be a little bit closer, then the effects for a lot more people are going to be felt, and uh, even across the Pamlico Sound into areas of Carteret County, which is over here, and then mainland Dare and Hyde counties over here. So an interesting time ahead. People need to heed the advice of their local officials, uh, I think the best advice is to go to weather.gov, put in your zip code, and read any uh, headlines that are in red on the main return page. Hurricane local statements, watch and warning information, that's where you're going to find the best information for what's going to happen in your area. Taking a look at the 12Z GFS, brand new off the press, if you will, 24 hours out. Here it is sitting down well east of Charleston, south and east of Charleston looking very very healthy in the 500 millibar field here then at 36 hours it's comfortably away uh, from Wilmington which is right here south of Atlantic Beach and still southwest of Cape Hatteras finally at 48 hours it comes really really close to passing over the Outer Banks it's hard to say for sure uh, with this resolution but I'm gonna say this it's not coming up and turning out like that where it's way far away by a hundred miles this is a 48 hour forecast you can't imagine that it's going to bust too badly in terms of its accuracy so you folks up here even in southeast virginia down through the cape area uh, both capes hatteras and lookout and even to cape fear in the wilmington area up through topsail beach take this seriously hopefully it'll be comfortably offshore but if it's not it could be a real problem, especially for the Outer Banks, where thousands of people uh, are vacationing and probably have no hurricane experience. Then, 
it comes on up and uh, into southwest Nova Scotia. Now, look at the track map. I want to point this out. You see the track map shows uh, by Saturday morning that it's here and not here. Okay, this is where the GFS has it. Uh, and we'll go back and I'll show you that. See, the latest GFS. And this should have the Gulfstream 4 synoptic data where they sample the atmosphere to give the model more data points. Look, the uh, GFS here has it coming into Nova Scotia, whereas the Hurricane Center forecast track is over here. So we'll see. Could be interesting for Nova Scotia, though. It won't be a very strong system up that way, more extratropical in nature. All right, well, that is it for me for today. I'm going to be going on the road with the HurricaneTrack.com team. Uh, we will be streaming live on our Ustream channel, on our what we call Tahoe Cam, also our Everywhere Cam. We can take that camera and go anywhere and everywhere and show you and tell you what's going on. So follow along at HurricaneTrack.com. I will also be posting video blogs, uh, a handful of them, to Hurricane Pro and HD. And, of course, we have our app, Hurricane Impact, which has a great weather station page that you might want to check out where we will have live weather data from one of our stations that we're going to set up specifically for Arthur on the Outer Banks of North Carolina. Hurricane Impact, two words, add it to your hurricane and weather toolkit. You won't be disappointed uh, as we tackle Arthur up on the Outer Banks. All right, and as I said, I'll keep posting video blogs from time to time to this app so you can see what's going on while we're up there uh, along, probably in the Hatteras Village area. All right, that is it for me. I will see you from the road. Mark Sutherth, HurricaneTrack.com, and of course for Hurricane Pro and HD. We'll talk to you later.